and, and then term, I think in terms of the value of the company, autonomy is just such a mind-blowing thing that, like I said, you guys understand, but I think most of the world does not yet understand. You heard that right. Most of the world does not understand the impact of AI on the world at large. AI has come a long way, seamlessly integrating into our daily lives, from AI-powered self-driving cars to advanced smart gadgets. But what's next? We've tapped the minds of leading tech visionaries like Elon Musk to see how they predict AI, particularly in the form of humanoid robots, will reshape our world. Hold on tight, because their predictions are nothing short of shocking. When we were kids in school, my, my brother would tell me the, the wrong time for the bus so that I wouldn't miss the bus. And then I'd be upset with him, like, why did you tell me the bus was going to come earlier than it was? And, and, and he's like, well, because otherwise you'd be late for the bus. This is an actual thing that, that would happen. But th there's, there's, it, it actually gets way crazier when you think about the Optimus robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to, you know, be able to do anything you want it to do, to be, you know, it's your, you know, your companion, it, it can be at your house, it can sort of babysit your kids, it could teach them, be a teacher, it, you know, it can do factory stuff. Like, I, I think that the ultimate ratio of, you say, how many super useful humanoid helper droids do you want? Like, who doesn't want a C-3PO, you know? You know, but a C-3PO plus R2-D2 plus, you know, plus. It would be pretty awesome. I think everyone in the world is going to want one. Like, literally everyone. And then there will be, obviously, robots in industry making stuff. And so, I mean, I think the ratio of humanoid robots to humans will, will probably be at least two to one, something like that. One to one for sure, so, which means, like, somewhere on the order of 10 billion humanoid robots, or maybe 20 or 30. And so then it's like, okay, well, let's say, you know, you, you kind of make, let's say the build rate is, I think the build rate will be probably something ultimately like a billion a year, humanoid robots. Like, actually. Elon Musk, ever the visionary, drops this bombshell at a recent conference. He believes AI integration into every facet of our lives is hurtling towards us faster than we can imagine. Humanoid robots have long been a staple of movies and prototypes, but recent advancements are propelling us towards a reality where these robots are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Take Tesla's Optimus, Amica, and the social robot Sophia. Just a few examples of how existing prototypes are undergoing a rapid evolution. But if that's not enough to show how close we are to a society where humanoid robots are as common as kids riding skateboards, Musk has also revealed plans to start mass-producing Tesla Optimus robots in the thousands for industrial and factory labor. And the timeline for this is astonishing. We could see this reality by 2025. By then, when you dial customer care, it might just be a humanoid robot on the other end of the line. And if you just plot the points on the curve of how well autonomy is progressing and just believe the curve, it's headed towards unsupervised full self-driving very quickly at an exponential pace. If you just, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, so. It's, it's really as simple as that. And in fact, I, I'd invite you to just do it personally. Just say, okay, with each release, uh, how many miles do you drive before you have to intervene? It's, it's, not, it's like literally that simple. And with each release, you'll see it, there's, a, there's a big improvement and it looks like an exponential. So, and, and it's very clear that will actually go to the point where it is actually far safer than a person driving the car. That's enough about Elon Musk for now. What Sam Altman is saying about the future of AI robots is arguably even more shocking. Altman has been a vocal proponent of artificial general intelligence, the idea of AI achieving self-awareness. But here's a question for you. How will humans react when their own creations surpass them in intelligence and potentially pose a threat? Intriguingly, Altman believes the world would experience a brief period of shock, maybe a couple of weeks, and then move on. After all, what choice would we have? But enough from us. Let's hear directly from Sam Altman himself. I believe that someday we will make something that qualifies as an AGI by whatever fuzzy definition you want. The world will have a two-week freakout and then people will go on with their lives. Sam Altman just said the world will only have a two-week freakout when we get to AGI. That's quite a statement to make. One thing I say a lot is no one knows what happens next. And I can't see to the other side of that event horizon with any detail, but it does seem like the deep human motivations will not go anywhere. This is when people start getting alarmed that we Why? have no idea. Well, I, mean, I think that's just... We're going to have some, a, a, a intelligence that is more intelligence than all of us, and we have no idea what happens. No, no. I, like, one thing I love to do is go back and read about the contemporaneous accounts of technological revolutions at the time. And the expert predictions are just always totally That's wrong. Very good point. And you need to have some flexibility in your opinions and look 
have a tight feedback loop with how it's going with the world. But then the discussion moves to the need for AI regulations based on the potential for AI to evolve so rapidly. Let's hear from Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, as he shares his insights on the potential consequences of unfettered AI and the critical need for regulations to guide its development. Tell me what you, whether you think regulators have got it right or whether we're not doing enough. At this point, you know, if I look at what the White House EO is or what the UK Safety Summit is, what's happening in Europe, what's happening in Japan, they are going to have a say. Nation states are absolutely, absolutely. going to have a say on what is the regulation that controls any technology development. Most importantly, what is it ready for deployment or not? And so I feel like we will all be subject to those regs. But then Sam Altman addresses the big question. What would you choose if you had the opportunity to halt AI development due to potential future risks? Altman provides a truly insightful answer, emphasizing that there's no magic red button to stop AI development. This makes it clear that we are heading into the AI age, whether we are prepared or not. If you were ever in that room and you thought to yourself, this is getting dangerous, and this could actually have consequences that I would not want upon the world, would you then shout stop and would you stop? There's no like one big magic red button we have that blows up the data center, which I think some people sort of assume exists. It's not this binary go stop decision. It is the many little decisions along the way about allow this, don't allow this, how to predict what the, the risks of the future are going to be, how to mitigate those, set this new value here, um, things like that. However, concerns about the future of AI and its potentially risky consequences have been present since the early 2000s, even when AI was still in its infancy. Let's go back to September 2000, when experts on humanoid robots gathered to discuss their creation's future at the Humanoid 2000 conference. Professor Rodney Brooks, then director of the Artificial Intelligence Lab, made a bold declaration. The robots are coming, they're getting into our homes, and they'll change the world in many ways. Professor Brooks compared the current state of robots to that of computers in the late 1970s. At that time, there were large computers, but ordinary people couldn't access them. Similarly, robots were beginning to make their way into homes, primarily as toys like Furby's and Japan's robotic dog, Ibo. Brooks, who was also the chairman of iRobot Corp, mentioned that a robotic baby, complete with facial expressions and moods, would soon hit the market, a collaboration between iRobot and Hasbro. He pointed out that producing robots as toys helps reduce costs, making them more accessible to the public. This trend was expected to continue, with more robotic toys entering the market. Dr. Brooks, the Fujitsu Professor of Computer Science and Engineering, saw this as the first step toward broader integration of robots into daily life. Brooks made a statement about the gradual integration of AI into our lives, using toys as an example. Today, we see this prediction coming true with the rise of generative AI tools like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and AI assistants like Alexa. These technologies are rapidly becoming commonplace, proving that we are already on the path to a future where AI humanoid robots coexist with us, so lifelike that it might be hard to distinguish them from humans. Professor Brooks also speculated on how robots will affect our everyday lives. He suggested that we will grow accustomed to having autonomous and semi-autonomous mobile devices as part of our daily interactions. Furthermore, he predicted that we would interact with systems that exhibit some form of emotional content. While we have some ideas about how robots might be used, Brooks noted that, much like the early days of computers, our predictions are likely to be off the mark in the long terms. He suggested that in 20 years, robots' roles could be vastly different from what we currently envision. This perspective from the early 2000s shows that even then, experts anticipated the profound impact AI and robotics would have on society. As we see these predictions unfold, it becomes clear that the future of AI and humanoid robots will continue to surprise and challenge us. But what are your thoughts on the future of AI, and what risks do you think could arise? Drop your thoughts in the comments section, and let's keep the conversation going. By the way, if you haven't seen our video where we discussed everything there is to know about achieving AGI, then you definitely need to check it out.